I would, he actually beat me to the punch, so I, okay. I'll, I'll be a bit more um, economic about the answer. Sure. But the blockchain is best at is eliminating economic rent. Economic rent as a term means someone not as in renting an apartment, but someone who um, charges more than they actually participate in value. Mm -hmm. So there's a door, there's, suppose there's two exits there, mm -hmm. and I go and I rent one foot of um, space in front of each door. There's a fire at the screen because uh, everything simply catches on fire and blazes. Everybody rushes for the exits. I now charge 100,000 dirham per person to get up the door. Mm -hmm. I'm charging economic rent, okay? Simply because I happen to be, have the opportunity to purchase that strip of the property. So what the blockchain does is enables you to go around those secrets of economic rent, economic rent secrets. By circumventing them, you save the economic rent that they charge but you only save the economic rent. So, as he said, if you are deserving of the value, okay, that you're charging for, you can't be replaced. Now, normally, in a perfect world, that means nobody would be replaced. But, particularly in the financial industry we're discussing, you have massive charges, massive secrets of economic rent, where they would charge 10%, 6%, 5% in fees, but their actual costs are 30, 40, 50 basis points. Okay, and that's the Wall Street industry, now to name it out right, um, in, in London and uh, Canada and the Bay Street. So when you create an infrastructure that allows you to circumvent economic rent, the economic rent that's usually given to these service providers are now distributed evenly between the users of the product. This unleashes value and makes the world a better place. And it also puts the spotlight on those who deserve um, what, they get, what they're charging for the value. So his lawyer, would actually rise in the socioeconomic strata mm -hmm. sphere, mm -hmm. but those who charge economic rent and don't deserve what they're charging for will eventually be disintermediated, with disintermediation being the definition of taking the middleman out. Sure. Thank you, Reggie, for that. Nodan, Nikita, anything to add to this? Uh, 